Oh, day number three. All right, people, welcome back to another video from JBL Vlogs. Today I'm down at the river again, third day in a row. Hoping to get on some bass, any type of bass. Just want one. Just one. This one, God, please. I'm throwing two spinners. One is white and one is chartreuse. And yeah, let's let's dig into this juicy video. Let's catch some fish. Hopefully my stupid Seeger line doesn't go off like yesterday. What the f Well, there goes my spoon. I'm throwing spinners again because top water seems to be working, but it doesn't seem to be cloudy today. But hopefully it works. I'm gonna be out here probably till three. It's like 12:30 right now. I gotta work at four. So yeah, hopefully I get on some. Only brought one water. Probably won't even touch it. The river's just about at its normal height now. So that's always good. Oh, it's all mud right there. Whoa! Look at the butterfly. Sick nasty, bruh. There's two of them now. They're mating. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like butterflies. They scare me. Yeah, dude, somebody was definitely on a boat. There's literally boat marks right there. And the trailer's gone. That was here the other day. It's probably your neighbors, actually. Didn't know they had a boat. Oh, I got one. That was right at the bank. <laughs> what the heck? Ow. It's a largemouth. Oh my god, it's all mud. You piece of sh This is my first largemouth down here. That was so weird. It's not the big one I'm searching for. But it'll do. There's so many frogs over here. I'm gonna release them. Check my phone out. No, I use my GoPro. Here goes little, little nine incher. That was a terrible release, but there she goes. First fish of the day. That was not really. I did not expect that at all. Never had a fish right there, at the bank. But yeah, I got one. I have to go through all this mud again. Cleaning the GoPro off, it's all mud. Oh my god, look at my shoes. Those are wrecked. Oh shit, my reel is too. Oh no, it's not. It was literally two feet away from me. It's pretty crazy, dude. That was so weird. That fish was probably not even nine inches. More like six, if that. So all I'm doing right now is just working the bank. Just keep them walking down trying not to get into a lot of mud but this is literally a mud pit it was flooded yesterday so I would probably explain why it is oh it's a big hole these shoes are destroyed yeah that was my first largemouth down at this part of the river actually first largemouth in the Wisconsin River it's pretty dope to be honest so small Oh, they just had one. I got it out. 
I feel like the smallies don't like the white spinner, so I think I'm gonna put on the chartreuse on the spinning rod. Why not? Oh, and people, I just bought some more GoPro batteries, so now my kayak videos will be pretty dank. Because I only have like two hours of film with the GoPro batteries that I have. I only have two. Bought three more, so yeah. They're going to turn out to be pretty useful, I'd say. Not sure how I'm talking, like I'm really excited and really not. But yeah, I'm just trying to hype things up for you. Oh, I just got hit. Got a little peck. I think I did. Felt like it. Whoa, what the heck? That's the same fish, I think. That <laughs> no, it's a smaller one. What? <laughs> it's by far the smallest. Dude, he completely destroyed that. He got hooked in all three of them. It's literally four inches. All right, I've never caught any largemouth before. This is my second one. This is so small. I'm gonna let this little guy go. Oh, dude, he just floored it. <laughs> that was like... They did. They just hit it right at the bank too. It's freaking awesome. These small bass are just so freaking aggressive. It's insane, and they just—they're like four inches. That one was probably not even four inches. First one I caught was probably like six. I should have left that fish on and used it for bait. That would have caught me the big ones. Oh man, I think. I must be. Oh no, I'm not. What the heck? Oh, I have a stick. That felt like a fish. I kind of like this tree being here, especially when it's muddy. Gives me support. Yeah, this is literally a freaking drop off. One foot, and see if I can even reach the bottom. Nope, I can't. It just keeps going down. I believe it's like 16 feet here. Then over there, it's like eight. I don't know how. It's a sketch part of the river, I'd say. Damn it, bruh. Oh, I'm gonna get snagged. Oh. oh, I'm on. I'm on. Finally. I'm on. Oh, it's a good one, too. Holy sh! That's a nice sheep head. Dang. I was not expecting that. Holy crap. That's like three pounds. Holy crap, this is huge. You mother. God damn. All right, people, I'm not gonna head in yet, cause. Can you stop being a dumbass? Damn. All right, that's a pretty, I hate you so much. That's a pretty decent sized sheep head, I'd say. No, I'm not letting you go. I'm gonna feed it. I'm gonna feed it to the cats. They are pretty invasive. I catch them all the time. This isn't really abuse, cause just keeping the waters clean, boy. All right, I'm gonna clean our hands off. It's disgusting.
All right, people, I'm gonna head inside. Haven't really been, haven't been getting much since that sheep had only got one follow up and that's about it. So, so thanks for watching this little video. Hope you enjoy. Probably wasn't the greatest. I caught two dinks and one sheep head. At least I caught something. I was wishing for a five pounder, but I didn't get it. Maybe next time, dudes. Always next time. Thanks for watching. I gotta do corn buckets and go to work. So, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, dude. Damn, this thing freaking sliced my finger. The line just cut it. That sucks. That hurts like a bitch.